Where do we go here as, from here as a franchise? It's kind of hard to say. Rachel Lindsay is sharing her reaction to Chris Harrison temporarily stepping away from his Bachelor hosting duties. Chris has stepped aside, which I think is the right decision because, like he said, he needs to take time to get educated and on a profound and productive level, to use his words. And I think he needs to understand what was done, what was wrong in what he said in that interview. And he needs time. He needs to step away to do that. On Saturday, Harrison announced that he won't be hosting The Bachelor's upcoming After the Final Rose special following his controversial interview with Lindsay, where he defended current Bachelor contestant Rachel Kirkinell's alleged past racist actions, which included attending an Old South Plantation-themed party while in college in 2018. Well, Rachel, is it a good look in 2018 or is it not a good look in 2021? It's because not there's a, a big good difference. look ever. Shortly after that interview aired, Harrison issued a statement apologizing for, quote, wrongly speaking in a manner that perpetuates racism. And while Lindsay said it's been tough for her to accept his apology. It's a little hard for me because I lived the experience. I walked away. There was no apology. The apology came after the fact. She also says she doesn't want to be too quick to judge him. He has taken the steps to not issue one, but two apologies. Let's see what happens from there. Mm -hmm. The former Bachelorette also pointed out that many members of Bachelor Nation have spoken out against Harrison's comments, including the women from the current season of The Bachelor, who issued a joint statement. To see the contestants come together and speak out and to say what they don't stand for, I don't know how we continue in this way. How do you when people in Bachelor Nation are upset, the contestants of this very show, uh, the leads of the show? How does he go on to represent the franchise when people are so upset by what they saw in that interview? It's a sentiment Lindsay previously shared on Friday during an interview with Good Morning America. You have the face, the spokesperson of that franchise, say the things that were said this week. Ladies. And it lets you know the work isn't done. And on Thursday, she called for action when she opened up about Harrison's apology on her podcast with Van Lathan, Hired Learning. He said, I promise to do better. I need people to stop making these statements. What does that look like? What does doing better look like? How are you going to be better? That is what I want to know. You putting out a statement and disappearing for a few days, weeks, that ain't better. How is Chris Harrison going to be better? While recording the podcast, Kirkinell's public apology was released. Lindsay had this to say. An apology is a step, baby step in the right direction, but it's just a, an apology. We gotta see it. I'm, now I'm holding you to what you said. 